YouTube, MacGyver7 here. And today I wanna to go over a really good app for optimizing your Fire TV stick and also kind of erasing like catch and also duplicate apps. So it's really good for speeding up your Fire Stick, freeing up space, and also just optimizing it, making it move better, function better. And it's pretty easy to use. And the name of the app we're gonna be looking at today is called SD Made. Um, I recently came across this app a couple days ago. I have never knew it existed. Uh, I don't own an Android like phone or anything, so I wouldn't have known, but uh, it's actually really, really good. Um, and so what the app does, it's kind of like your all-in-one app for like um, analyzing your storage, for checking to see what apps are using up your most space, which apps are kind of taking control of your Fire Stick and slowing it down. It just gives you like and a huge overview of everything. So the first thing I do is I click scan and it's gonna scan your entire fire stick and kinda of let you know how much space you have left, how much you've used, what's the capacity of fire stick, and the primary. So it gives you that information as an overview. Then if you go over here to explore, you can kinda of go through and look into your fire stick just like you would in like ES File Explorer. Now the cool thing though I like about it is called app control. So when you click on app control, what this will do, it will allow you to see what apps are running and what apps are not running. And so what it gives you the ability to do, you can actually shut apps down. So let's say right here, Spotify is running on my Fire Stick. I can actually scroll down here to the bottom and I can kill the application. And now I've just freed up space on my Fire TV Stick because the application is no longer running. Now, a lot of times you don't really know what apps are running, especially if you just hit the back button, which we're pretty much all been doing. But when you hit the back button, you actually are not actually exiting the app. The app is still running. So as you're watching those movies and TV shows and you wonder why your fire stick's moving slow or it could be buffering a lot, it's probably because you have a lot of things running in the background. It's kind of bogging down the RAM on your fire TV stick. So with this app, you can actually go through and shut those apps down and kind of free up that space, that memory space, so that your fire stick can kind of run really smooth. And also it makes everything move a lot better and a lot faster it makes your movies run smoother it kind of decreases the buffering and things like that so um so all i do is just go through you click on them you scroll down to here you can kill the application you also can run the application from here um you can export the apk so let's say that you have apks on your fire stick or you got them from some other place and you want to export them and to put them on another device you can do that you can actually export these onto your Fire Stick and then um, send them off. So you can actually do that as well. There's also some other things here that require a root that you will not be able to use unless your Fire Stick is rooted. But um, for the most part, you won't have to actually use those uh, features there. Um, but underneath here, like I said, the app control is really good. The Corpse Finder is also pretty good. And so what it does is it kind of looks for files um, that belong to an application that's no longer there. So let's say that you've deleted an app and let's say there's some things left over, like if you download like maybe a game app or something like that that has ROMs, and when you delete that app because you know I don't like it, those ROMs are still on your Fire Stick taking up space. So what this does, it will go through, it will find those files or folders and things like that that are linked to apps that do not need to be used anymore. So basically, it will go through and find them, you can delete them right off your Fire Stick, and it'll help you clean it off and free up more space. So this is really good, and it's kind of hard to find those files because unless you just know how to go through the directory of your Fire TV Stick, it's almost impossible to know what files belong to what, especially after you delete apps. But with this, you can actually click on Corpse Finder, click Scan, and it'll go through and it'll find folders and files that do not belong to an app because you deleted it. And you can actually take them off and free up more space here for our TV stick. So this is really good. And then the last thing is your system cleaner. And all you do is you go through and you hit scan. It's gonna go through, check out your fire stick, and it's gonna look at empty directories, temporary files, things that just do not need to be on your fire stick. You'll just click on the directory and click delete. And voila, it's all cleaned off and you're good to go. So as you can see, this app is very powerful. Um, it does work and it's been really good for me as far as like making sure that my apps aren't running or things that are cleaned off i can actually go in analyze my fire stick and just clean off things that i no longer need now just to keep on going here you have app cleaner so if you want to clean up applications um so that they run better and without deleting important files it will do that for you it'll do a huge app cleaner and it will pull out those items and all you just click on that and you can delete them and it does this for you without actually deleting anything, okay? The other thing here, which is really good, is duplicates. So this happens all the, all the time when you're actually using FileLink. When you download an app for FileLink, 
a lot of times those apps will come through duplicated. And so what you typically you actually have to do is go back outside of FileLink and then delete the file and then you'll only have one. But what this would do is it gets rid of that second step you have to make as far as like deleting a duplicate app and then simply just scan your entire device for duplicate apps. It will pull them up. You can delete them right from here. And next thing you know, you have more space available on your Fire TV stick. So it's really, really good for that as well. Um, there's some other things here. You can actually have a schedule here. If you want to set a set schedule for this thing to do a scan for you, you can. Um, you can actually add some exclusions. So let's say you want certain things to happen, but you don't want certain things changed. You can do that here as well. And then um, also you can look at some statistics about your Fire Stick and kind of see where it's at and what things need to be changed and the things that have been found on it. You also can go through like and look at what's been deleted. So you can go through your history and see what you removed and what you deleted. Uh, so it's kind of like a peace of mind and it it's one of those apps that I feel like everyone needs to have on their Fire TV stick, especially that because it's free and it works really good. I've gone through, I've done this, I've restarted my Fire Stick just to make sure that it actually is erasing everything and it is. Um, the things that I've actually deleted are no longer there. Um, the space that it says that it's left on my Fire Stick is actually there after a reboot. So this app is really good. It's a game changer for the Fire TV stick. Um, so definitely go into my file link and download it. Get it on there. Start cleaning up your fire sticks so that you can watch those movies and TV shows without any buffering. And also speed up your stick as well. Um, so I thought I'd share this one with you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below your thoughts on this app. It's called SD Made. It's in my file link store. I have a link in the description um, for the file link code and also for downloading the file link if you already have a fire TV stick. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me build this channel up to something big. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.